Well, here we are. Up with the faithful bag again and out into another city. Tokyo. Population 9 million. Language incomprehensible. Alphabet indecipherable. Central exit. I hope you're not following me. I don't know where I'm going. I begin to feel like a tramp down here under the city amongst the immaculately turned out Japanese. Perhaps I'm doomed to wander these well-polished halls forever, living proof of the awful fate that awaits those who cannot organize their life the way the Japanese do. Oh, hello. Is that David Powers? Yes, it is indeed. It's Michael Palin. Oh, hello. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? Well, <laughs> it's a long story and I can't tell you now. Um, but I'm really only here for about 24 hours. Are you going to be around that we could meet up? Because, I mean, I know nothing of this place, and it would be lovely to have someone to sort of show me around. Sure, that would be fine. Um, how about this evening sometime? Yeah, that's good. Whereabouts uh, should we meet? Ah, now, that's always a problem in yeah. Tokyo. I mean, yeah. we, could, we could meet outside Hachiko, but then we'd probably spend the rest of the evening trying to yes. find each other. Yes. I eventually meet David Powers, a BBC journalist living in Tokyo, at a self-service sushi bar, which, like everything else in Japan, is rather clever. First you get your cup of tea, yeah. and a tea bell. Do you want... Oh, I see. Oh, it's all pop, do pop it yourself. Tea, tea as well. Yeah. All do it yourself. Yeah. Hot water over there. Genius, isn't it? Country that brought you Sonny Walkman. The Japanese, they think of everything. And then you yeah. just take whatever you fancy. That's a, a mackerel one there. Mackerel. Is, yes. this, is this sushi or sashimi? I'm That's never quite sushi. sure. sushi. Sushi is the stuff which is on top of the rice balls. Does sushi have to be rice with raw fish? Or not necessarily with raw fish. That's actually uh, slightly boiled. Yeah. I'll try not to so watch that. That's, um, what's this? Uh, that one's sea urchin. That bit is raw. Oh, well, you've taken it now. Okay. You've taken it now. Oh. I keep thinking we should be putting things back on, you know, like... <laughs> no, I'm afraid you can't send your empties back to the kitchen. What you do is you stack up all your plates, and then they count the number of plates that you've eaten at the end, and that's your bill. Everything here, same price. So, how difficult is it to learn <laughs> Japanese? It's a bit of a mind-bender, Japanese. Uh, it's said to be one of the most difficult languages in the world. Part of the problem is the way that it's written. They use Chinese characters mm. and their own special characters. And each one has got different ways of being pronounced depending on what part they're playing in the sentence. Some of them can be pronounced in 20 different ways, and you just have to know which part of the sentence it's in. Well, there was only English that did that. No, so I mean, is... we think that uh, spelling in English, we've got problems, but yeah. Japanese really do. 